A lot of times we get questions about interactive trading chart, and I thought I'd take a little bit of time to show some of the features that it has and how to make the most of it and customize it to your use. So we have here a chart for craft, and right now we're looking at about a year and a half's worth of data, and we have about four months worth of data on screen right now. So the first thing to notice is that as we move along, we have a highlight effect that is showing us the day that we are currently viewing the open, high, and low, and close prices for that day, what the date is. And this highlight, especially the gray band, is going to go across both our main plot, which is showing price data, and down into the volume plot, which is showing how many shares traded on that day. So right now we're looking from January 12th to May 15th. We can change our window by dragging this slider. And if we want to zoom in a little bit, we can adjust the size of this range by dragging the edges of the slider in a bit. So here we'll go back to a slightly larger range, and we will move down to most recent dates in our date range. And if I want to go back to the beginning of the year, and we'll look at since the end of 2011. Using the selector under the chart type section, we can change the appearance of our main plot. So right now we're looking at a traditional candlestick appearance where we have the low price down here at the bottom, we have the high way up at the top. For a red bar we have it open at the top of the rectangle and close at the bottom of the rectangle. The red is an indication that we dropped price during the day. For a green bar, where the stock price increased during the course of the day, we have the open at the bottom of the rectangle and the close at the top. We can also use an open high low close indicator which uses little ticks that stick off the edges of the stem. And so the open on the left and the close is on the right. We can ignore the opening price and just look at the low and the high and the close price. Or we can just track a line through all of the close prices. We'll go back to the candlestick appearance now. So by default, interactive trading chart shows us the stock price in the main plot and one indicator, which is the trading volume for the day. We can add additional indicators We'll scroll down here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So suppose we want to add a simple moving average to our plot. We click the Add button next to Simple Moving Average, and we get a curve added. Once we've added, if we decide that we don't want a simple moving average, the way to remove the simple moving average is actually to come back up to the main plot, and here we have a legend for our simple moving average. It's going over 14 periods, and the value for this day is $37.84. To remove it, we can click this little X to the left. I'm going to click the Edit button and change this to a 20-period simple moving average and we select update. And now I can add a second simple moving average. And this, is, this one is again at 14. We'll change this to a 50 day simple moving average and we'll change the color to bright orange. And now when we hit update our new simple moving average has been updated as well. In general, indicators that 
have values that match prices will show up on the main plot. So simple moving averages, means, medians, this sort of thing will all show up in the main plot. Some of the other indicators will show up as additional plots. So if I pick something like relative strength index, then we get an additional curve down here below the volume in its own little plot region. I'm going to click the X in the legend to remove that indicator. And close up the sections that I just had. So the final controls I want to talk about are these three in the top right corner. The first is a button that will hide the controls and give me just the interactive plot with the highlight effect showing up. And I can click on the plot to get the interactive controls back. If I have a plot that I like, I can paste the snapshot and it will include my data. And in, inside of a call to trading chart, with the necessary specifications to generate that plot as a standalone graphic. And finally, if I've been making some modifications and decide that I want to start over, I can hit a reset button, and this will take me back to my default plot range and to the default set of indicators.